Hey everybody, this is Scott. Welcome back to the channel. I'm on my way to the annual Axtell Community Garage Sale. Uh, Axtell is a small uh, community not too far from my house, about 20 minutes. And so I'm going to run over there and see what they've got. Last year I killed it over here. It was a great sale. So let's go see what we find. Excuse me. You're fine. Can I bend on you? Okay. Okay. Let me go to my car real quick. Do these just need batteries? Do they work? They just need batteries. That's okay. I can't see what it is, but a bag. <laughs> okay. Let us go. How much is this? One dollar. You don't have any other other parts that go no, with it, do you? No. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'm also walking to the I'll plan out a whole week. 
I mean, do you need somebody to run the box over? I, okay. I mean. If they want to know to run the box over, they'll just ask me to do it because they know I'm too <laughs> How much are the games? Yeah, I'm going to get it. Games, the Xbox ones are $5. I'll get the cool puzzle. All right, now my garage sale shopping is done. <laughs> I was the only place I bought stuff from is this one. The only one I bought stuff from. I bought two Xbox games earlier. <laughs> Everything's a nickel. <laughs> How much is it? I tried to put I went to there. Is this like a re re manufactured thing or something? Not that one. The other one's alright. When I dropped out the fireworks. We still have them? I tried to put my keys and try to lay them down. How are you going to make money when you're just going to spend it again? I didn't see that. It's not there. So what are these from? Um, you know anything about them? No. That's for a, I mean, a gun, I'm assuming. <laughs> that's almost for that's a rifle. Old one, yeah. well, that's for, I think, a... And there are three bucks? Yeah. I think I've spent nine dollars. I mean, if you don't have change, I could just make a run for it. Uh -uh, <laughs> I'm not very fast, so my days of making a run for it are pretty much gone. Oh, well, hold on. I, how much did I, I spent? Nine. Yeah, but uh, how, let me see if I have change because you're going to run out of change. And let's see if I've got any. I have. Look at this. Here you go. You got it. I have five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's, nine. That's ten you give. Oh, is that ten? Yeah. But five, I do want the six, twenty back. Seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> so, there you, there go. you go. All right, man. Ain't appreciate it. You off. Thank you. <laughs> no, I, I didn't think so. You don't rip off people that just bought gun holsters because they could have a gun. Right, right. <laughs> hey, man, I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Thank you. Hello. It's okay. It's okay. 
I hope you enjoyed going with me on the sales. Uh, today was a very exciting day, but not so much because of the stuff I found. Um, we, I just didn't pick up a whole lot, and there wasn't a whole lot to pick up. I had a great day getting outside. It's not something that we've been able to do as much as I would like, and I really, really missed that last year. I enjoy being outside and talking to people. Um, but today was exciting for a couple of other reasons. Uh, one of them is one of the things I found is something that I always look for, and uh, every time I found it, they've been put to good use, and, and I'll get to those last. The first one, and I don't know how it showed up in the videos, but I picked up three gun holsters. And they were $3 a piece, and they're Civil War type reproductions, but they're real leather. And for the most part, when I've had these types of things in the past... Um, you can see the U.S. on there. Um, these kind of hover around that $20 price. Maybe maybe that one with the belt might bring $25. And uh, this one, uh, this is a much more modern brand. And um, again, reproductions um, sell for $20 to $25 a piece. I got all of those at one sale. And... I don't know if you saw these when I picked them up. Um, I, I got two of those. And what those are, are for women that have had to have um, surgery due to breast cancer. Uh, I've had everything from the, um, you know, complete mastectomy kits um, for... Um, for everything from bras to these are the uh, post-surgery shirts which uh, have the drainage kits in them. And so what I do with those, it's not that they don't have a huge resale value because some of the things do. Uh, normally what I do is I pick them up and then we just try to get them to somebody who couldn't afford them. It, it, I don't have any money in them and it really wouldn't matter if I did. It, uh, it's a matter of if I can, you know, people that are going through some of those kind of things it's a hard enough time, and if I can do anything to make that better, uh, that's good. So that was probably my most exciting find of the day on that end, even though it's not a profit item. It's not the reason that that was exciting. Uh, so the day started out great outside, great weather, tons of sales, even though it wasn't a ton of stuff for me to pick up. But we, last week on my video, I told you that we had a couple of auctions running that we weren't sure how they would do. Um, our recent doll collection had a bunch of Mexican folk art and a couple of those pieces we thought looked like a, an artist named Manuel Jimenez, but they're not marked. They, they didn't say on them. There's no, there's no indication of it. They just look like it to us. So what we did is we ran those on an auction and, uh, we started the, the bidding at, uh, right at $70 with shipping or plus shipping and, um, with about 30 seconds left in each, they were getting close to $100. I'm going to grab one of them here. This one, this little guy, I don't know if you watched the other video, if you saw me uh, holding him up. This was the first one that sold, and he came in at $527. So even though I put in the ad that we couldn't uh, positively uh, attribute it to... Manuel Jimenez, I think that somebody did, at least two somebodies. And then shortly after that one, this little guy closed. Uh, Melody thinks it's a lemur. I think it's a leopard. Um, what we do agree on is that that little guy was worth $587. So totally blew us away that those would come in that high. Uh, same person bought them, and uh, so I, I think that they're shipping out of the country. It looks like they're going to go to Japan, and so I guess the lesson here is is uh, I posted it on Instagram, and people asked me, well, how did you know? And the reality of it is we didn't. M Melody is the one that gets credit for discovering exactly what these were or what we thought they were. Um, because we have so many dolls that are truly South American folk art and Mexican folk art, um, I think one of the things that makes us competitive is this. We both like to study. 
And one of the ways that you do that is she was uh, looking online on um, on eBay solds and just using, put in Mexican folk art, and then we sort by highest. We want to see what other people had. And in doing so, she saw something that she thought was similar. And, and even though there's 20 tubs of dolls in the house, she thought, I think that we have something like that. And uh, when she pulled the lion out, I remembered that we had the pink one. And um, the price still astounds us because when we looked up Manuel Jimenez um, on on eBay and WorthPoint and online, it looked like they maxed out at $300 or $350 and which we would have been super excited with that price. Um, with two seconds left, two different people had uh, sniper either bids or they're sitting there watching set to bid on them, and they went from right at $100 to well over $500 a piece. So um, if there's advice in there for one, is it really, really helps to be lucky. Uh, it just does. We, uh, we're lucky that uh, we have had people that uh, let us have access to some of the, the things that we've had. And two, um, you know, it is research. We do a lot of research and, and cause these would have been easy if you had just put Mexican folk art without some of the key words that attracted the proper attention. Um, uh, we would have probably missed it altogether and somebody would have got a fantastic deal. So, uh, we had an amazing day. I, I, we had two great sales. Uh, I picked up a, a, a few, Things that I think are super cool. I like the the gun holsters and things like that. It it helps me live with having a house full of dolls. Uh, and I always love it when we find something that I really feel like I can help somebody else benefit from. So uh, that's it for me for the day. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed the trip. I hope you enjoyed seeing the results of that auction. We've got a lot more coming up. I have a lot of other super interesting and exciting stuff in the house that... Uh, we're, we're working as hard as we can to get it listed. So stick around uh, for upcoming episodes. And uh, I appreciate you being here. Uh, thank you so much for spending your time with me. And I'll see you on the next one.